Good morning. Well, it's a Sunday morning and uh, I'm taking my weekend day off. Richie's going to work and I've said I'd take her into work anyway, so it's just 7.30 in the morning and uh, I've just got in the car. It's cold. Well, not cold. No, it's cooled down quite a bit now. The, we've had rain through the night, so which I'm not having a problem with at all. Um, and it's been good. And there's a few things I want to catch up on uh, you with in terms of things that have been happening here in the UK. A lot's been happening with Boris Johnson, as you know, he's now our new Prime Minister, which I'm very happy about. And um, I personally think he's doing a good job now. I think he's doing a very good job. And we've also got uh, some news in terms of how things are going with uh, the economy. And we've got things going on. Hello. I've not combed my hair, Dad. You've not combed your hair? That's all right, it's the rugged look. <laughs> Isn't it? What do you think? Anyway, I'm not going to use all that. It's just, it's just we're all footage this video. I'm just using it for, for the... Uh, if there's any good bits that come out of it. Like, like your teeth fall out or something. <laughs> <laughs> or my teeth fall out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh, is it on still? Yeah. Daddy, don't... There are some sandies. The natural stuff is the best part. Isn't it? Hmm? I've just said it's Sunday morning. There's Rufus. But that, that's to be shared, shared with his shared with his with his yeah. partner. Yeah. But uh, it's a, incredible. And uh, Mikey does also. Mikey U is a Fortnite player as well. So I think in future we'll take him out of school, yeah. take him out of school, and uh, get him focused on Fortnite. Get him the latest gizmos. And see if we can get him to the world championships. <laughs> What a good dad you are. Well, where is it? Mummy was going to put him into acting in the in the in the, in the Philippines. Philippines. Yeah. 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 I'm going to bring home my stuff from work, like uniform and stuff. Yes. Mean you, you 
for, for laundry, you mean? No, because, you know, when I finish work, yes. I just leave them there. And wait for like Sunday, you know, when you pick me up, then I can bring them home. Right. You're not gonna say, don't leave a mess on my in my car. <coughs> no, 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 what you're filing new nails? Yeah, it's not the greatest thing to do in the car, is it? I'll go take the car, get it cleaned actually in the next few days. <laughs> what happened to your? We're gonna clean it when it's very sunny. We're gonna clean it together. Are we have a day to do it, though. We that's the job. And then when I did have the day, I was I was feeling very rough, wasn't I? That's why the grass is suddenly going to start growing again. Or I know it is going to be too long again. Isn't it? You can do that on uh, Wednesday. Yeah. Yeah, true. Are you going to take me to my place on Wednesday? Your favourite? <laughs> Your place on Wednesday, okay. Mummy's place on Wednesday. going there just to look at something that I'd rather concentrate on Fortnite. <laughs> no, but, the, oh yeah, that's right, but you know. You'll get the right gizmos. Tell him to Google first, you know, like to, yeah. to see what games there are, and then you can choose. Or buy something, upgrade him with something to make him play Fortnite even better or something, you know. Isn't that better? No. But you don't want him to play with strangers, so. Oh yeah, they're all, they're all he doesn't have to play with strangers, he plays with people he knows. Yeah, but Daddy, the people he knows are all little bits like him. How would they know how to play those... Uh... Well, Jesse and... Um... No, Jesse is asking him to, for help. Yeah, no, but Jesse plays on Fortnite with him, so... Yeah, but they're both, you know... Yeah, well, they play other players, don't they, on there? You can, you can still, you know... You are protected. The good thing about Fortnite, you are protected. Why? I mean, why? By? By whom? Well, no, no, if you're going to give people your right, start communicating with people and going out to there, and it's, yeah, that's different, but he's keeping to his own team. Yeah, but if he's keeping to his own team, what do they learn from each other? They play all... other they're playing other teams, aren't they? So it doesn't matter if he's got a team of people on his side. You know, his team will keep look at that's the whole point. You look after each other on your team, don't you? That's the idea of it. In your head. Yes. In your head. Well, I think in some respects it's teaching good te leadership, teamwork, building self confidence. It does a lot of things. You know, if they can get better at teamwork. That is giving excuse for the kids ah, to like, think about you know, it. If you become, if keep you, on playing. If you can become a, one, good team player, develop leadership skills, okay? Team player, leadership skills, there's a third one I thought was useful. What was the third one? It's gone out of my head now, so you said something which made me lose my train of thought.
good that he agreed not to go to town today. Isn't it? Yeah, it means I can just chill. Yeah. Then I don't have to take the bus to the town. <laughs> what time is Roxy getting up? She'll be cooking your sausages. <laughs> and bacon. No, no, no sausages and bacon. All the way back is tonight. You have to tell her then, because she'll be thinking, oh, I have to like make sure daddy is, uh, you know. Oh, yeah, I must tell her. I don't want sausages and bacon. I'll have some bacon. <laughs> bacon it's sandwich. In the freezer is frozen. Oh, then don't worry. Yeah, but you can ask her to. Um, yeah, I don't want, definitely don't want sausages. So tell her that. Yeah, I'll tell her we're going to have the sausages for her. Bangers and mash? Yeah, I'll have bangers and mash for that. That's a good old. With gravy. Onion gravy. Okie dokie. That's oh, really lovely. See up. you in a bit, folks. See you later. Yeah, thank you, yes. Bye bye. Bye bye. See you later. Take care, I'm getting out. Yeah. Bye bye. It's not cool. Okay, let's uh a little woman has gone. Right. I must admit, um, getting up at this time of the morning on a Sunday in this area is uh, totally different to the rest of the week in terms of when well, I come here to the Royal Hospital in. Halo Chesterfield. It's um, like a ghost, ghost town. Very few vehicles around. Although in another couple of hours there'll be cars coming in, bringing people in with all kinds of suspected problems they've had, picked up or have from the night before. The only people out are the odd car and uh, dog walkers. Yeah, it's getting on to Boris Johnson again. He, I must say, and, and look, I've been certainly in favour of seeing Boris in at number 10 for quite a while now, for at least 12 months. I mean, I've just felt, and I know you, some of you probably know that from my own, from knowing me well, and some of you will know it from hearing some of my previous videos on the political scenario here in the UK. Um, but I, I, the reason I, 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 I feel quite bullish about it now is Boris is even exceeding my expectations at this stage. You know, he's he's gone into Downing Street very assertive. He's demolished the previous cabinet totally and put his own team of people in there that are that are right, it needs a new team. It doesn't matter whether, I don't think the pro-Brexit, non-Brexit issue is, is, is the point. He's put a team around him that are gonna work together with him in taking it forward. He's got a clear vision, a clear vision, with a, with a, with a, with a, with a what if, if it doesn't go through exactly. And he's not fearing the what if. He's saying, well, if they don't want to deal with us in Europe, well then, yeah, we go without a deal at this stage. Deals are going to come with the European Union. Let's be clear about that. Because Germany is still going to want to sell their cars to us, and so are France, etc. And they still want to sell us our food and our certain... Medicine. So, so the, and they're still going to want our products as well. So, deals are going to happen regardless of what politicians think in parliaments on Halloween. But that's not the point. You know, the world will not end on that date if we fall out. We're still going to be here. But what it's doing is going to open up the opportunities everywhere in the world to start trading and forming our own 
govern relationships. It's going to put the law back in our hands fully to govern our country effectively. You know, now apart from Brexit, I mean, look at the other things he's stepping up on. He's moving in with employing the the extra police to police our streets and get our police commissioners happier. Now, something Theresa May and David Cameron have failed to to identify and, and, and sort out over the over the last few years. Now, people say, well, Boris is above it. Boris knows what the country needs. You remember, as mayor of London, he sorted the, the crime rate out significantly. He had more police on the streets then, as mayor. Don't forget, it was a Labour run country and he was a conservative mayor of London so he went against the grain he sorted the crime rate out in London he built more houses in London he broke down barriers and what he's doing now is breaking those barriers down I think there are a lot of people fed up with their own political parties in Labour and in other parties that will see what Boris is doing for the people as a whole now will shift and conservatism will become strong, stronger in the next in the next few months um, I don't think Jeremy Corbyn or the Labour Labour movement have got have got a position at all you know are they for leaving Brexit first of all or are they for staying in no one really knows some want to stay, some want to leave. I do understand there are Tories in exactly the same position. But you've got to remember, these are the lazy Philip Hammond types who like to butter the toast for themselves. Boris doesn't want to butter anything for himself. He genuinely wants to fix this country. He genuinely wants to make it good for all. And people are going to see it in, in the next few months that he's actually going in that direction. Um, he doesn't care about what people think about him based on the decision he makes. If it's the right decision for the country, he's going to make it. Pussyfooting around and trying to get a consensus, which is what Theresa May was trying to do, just doesn't work. A time comes in running a country or running a business when you're just going to stick it in and be unpopular to make the right decisions for the business or for the country and that's what Boris is now doing and thank God we got the right man at the helm to do it we've got the right man who can take it on the chin when he as he said in his opening speech outside 10 Downing Street where the the buck stops stops here never mind the backstop the buck stops here I know people say he's just good with words. Who will he deliver? Well, he's got a good track record of delivering. Yes, he's made some mistakes. And he's not... He's not saying he hasn't. But he's also made some very good ideas, very positive ideas. And I think that's what we must give him the, the opportunity to drive. The negative elements of no he's no good and he can't do it well, okay who's better who can do a job better at the moment in this situation Jeremy Corbyn what would Jeremy Corbyn do if he was in this position at the moment well obviously he would axe his whole no, the cabinet would be a new cabinet but God, can you imagine a cabinet with Jeremy Corbyn can you imagine how it would work with Jeremy Corbyn I've got no doubt about Jeremy Corbyn's care for the poorer people I understand that take away from the fact that Boris Johnson always also cares about the poor people and the way to care, to care for the poor people is to get our country right in terms of its economics, jobs, housing, policing, <coughs> education, medical services, they've all got to work effectively and they can't work effectively with Jeremy, Jeremy Corbyn wishing to to bring in nationalisation. Everyone talks about where's the money going to come from for um, Morris's projects he's talking about at the moment. Well, where is all the money going to come from for nationalisation? In Jeremy Corbyn's case. You know, I think it's... Uh, well, 
time will tell. Anyway, I've uh, nearly reached home. What did Mummy say? I must tell Roxy not to cook me any sausages. And the bacon is in the freezer. Yeah, we have a co-op just here, fairly walking distance, well, 150 yards from where the house is, so it's quite easy to walk across out of church close when we need to. Da, 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 da. Oh, I'm going to put my feet up now, have a cup of coffee and uh, listen to the woes of the world with people a little bit later on the Andrew Marr show I suppose and get the newspapers okay nice talking to you folks see you soon bye bye